welcome back to another video. It is early Sunday morning and we are at Warwick Station. Today is the biggest daytime disruption that has like ever occurred in the last few years for Transperth. Yan Chip Line, your services are cancelled between Perth and Leaderville. Now today is already a scheduled like once every three or four months heritage line closure which means Armadale line is closed, Midland line is closed and the airport line is closed including the section to Claremont. Oh Leaderville Testo, yo! Three car. But now there's been some disruption so that all Fremantle line trains which are supposed to run from Perth Underground were also cancelled and Yadship line is cancelled as well from uh, from Leaderville to Perth so that means we only have the Mandra line running and only this to Leaderville and nothing else only the freeway line anyway let's hop on board I've never terminated the leader. It'll be actually really cool now. What are these people waiting for? The train's terminating. There's so many people waiting. This is legal. There's the terminating service. Ah, oh, the Leaderville Desto is so cool. Off it goes, making good use of the Leaderville siding from the north, which they don't usually do, using those tracks. I've never caught a scheduled disruption here at Leaderville. It's happened a few times before, but... I mean, unscheduled, sorry. Into the siding. Anyway, I don't see any buses yet, so this is quite chaotic. Well, it's already going back. That was like instant turnaround in the siding. One minute, because there's so many people already in the platform. There probably hasn't been a train for ages. It's just a little three car anyway, though. So weird using this as a terminus and not going to the actual CBD, which is what the line's all about. Crazy. We literally only have the freeway lines operating and not even in full because of this section being closed. How, how did they turn around at Perth Underground? Do they just run bi-directionally from Mandra Line? They must be actually. I really want to get there, but there's actually no way to get there because there's no buses yet. It's taking forever to schedule some to come, especially on a Sunday morning. Fremantle Line's also down, so I can't go to City West. So that there's like nothing I just unless I just ran but whatever I'll wait for if a bus will actually show up that's the service going back to Yadchip now it'll be even cooler if we see a C-series doing some of these weird operations it's only uh, 9 a.m. soon so definitely quite an early morning disruption I wouldn't usually be out this early but today I was going already just to do some work in the library and then this happened off goes the train Back towards Yanchip. That's actually quite a long run now. I'm acting like it's short, but it's basically longer than the original whole Junlab line was, obviously. Okay, still waiting for a bus. Okay, we just have 2867 arrived here with 000 Desto, but shuttling passengers and 84 just went past. They could have used that. It's packed over there. There's so many people waiting already. I think this is the only bus doing replacement services right now because someone's at Perth and this is the only one they've seen as well. And <laughs> now went to the other stand and everyone's gonna rush over there. Anyway, I'm not going in that. 
whatever. That's just typical 904 from Leaderville to Perth. I'm actually gonna go to City West. Apparently, Fremantle Line trains are running again, but I don't know, not to Perth. So, what's happening now? Terminating at City West or somewhere else? Damn it, I should've just gone in that 84. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go over there. Okay, never mind, here we are at City West. The board still say trains are canceled. There's actually like ghost trains showing in the app. You can live track Fremantle Line right now. It's showing there's a train here. So I thought they were running again, even though the website says they're not, but no, they're not actually running. It's just some weird glitch in the app showing that they are. So there's actually no trains. There's zero Heritage Line trains, no Midland Airport, Armandale, Fremantle trains. Even Mandra is disrupted apparently. I'm gonna go look at that as well. So crazy, crazy. There's like the most trains that have been canceled <laughs> during the day for like as long as I ever know. Another new stupid speed restriction over there. I experienced that one yesterday when I went on the Fremantle line. 30 kilometers an hour from City West to West Leaderville and then all the way to Subiaco. I don't know what the hell that is for. Okay, I'm gonna get a bus now. The next one that comes to go back into the city and see what's happening at Perth Underground. Here we are, Perth station is fully closed off. Oh, this is closed as well. Because I think there's actually zero trains in the city right now. I'm about to check the claim on the Mandra line, but everything in Perth's closed. The anti blinds aren't coming. So unless there's Mandra line, but apparently that's disrupted too. So actually, I think there are currently zero trains in Perth CBD. Zero. During the daytime. I mean, running trains. They're obviously in the depot, but that's... That's ridiculous. No trains. How the fourth largest city in Australia currently has no trains in its CBD on just in the middle of the day. I mean, in the morning on a Sunday. Just zero. This is open. Let's go down. Yep, so there's a... Okay, there's just no minor trains going to Perth Underground. Wow. Yep. So, there is trains in CBD. They're going to Elizabeth Key, but they just didn't bring them to Perth. That's what I was saying, because how would they turn around, you know? Here we are. The station is just closed off. Do you ever see the gates just closed down at Perth Underground at 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning? Fully closed off. So that means there are currently zero trains at any station, Perth Underground or Perth. Zero trains at Perth's central stations. But there should be Mandra Line services running from Elizabeth Key to uh, Mandra normally. So they basically just split, split the high freeway lines in two and not going into Perth. Let's go check that out. Okay, here we are at Elizabeth Key. It's very busy. The sign here actually says Fremantle as well on it, which is so weird. When do you see Fremantle written at Elizabeth Key? No, they're not. <laughs> That's the stupidest announcement. There's no rail replacement for Perth to EQ. But here you can see, Yanchip slash Fremantle. Your services are cancelled between Perth and Leaderville and Perth and Fremantle. It should say... Please be advised, due to technical issues, your next service will be delayed. Oh, of course it will. Just to apologize for your inconvenience. It should say Elizabeth Key say to Leaderville. Next service to Mandurah will be delayed. And that one says Perth to Elizabeth Key. Perth Busport. Oh, platform two. Whoops. It's coming in on this side. Bi directional running. That's really weird. Oh, uh, so silly. Yeah, it came on this side. You used the crossovers at EQ, so that's pretty cool. Never seen a train come this way before. Good, it's a six car.
No. What the hell? He stopped too early. What is he doing? What? Set 121 and 101 here. So full as well. Jeez. And everyone off. Anyway, that's the bi-directional running right there. This train is just going to return to Mandra. It's just really doing a normal service. I don't think they have any special EQ announcements. Everyone is so confused though. People going towards Yanship would normally have a normal through service. Now they're confused and have to go all the way to Leaderville to continue their journey on a train. There's no buses like replacement from here up towards Perth either. So you just got to walk. Absolutely packed. It's so weird. Just trains terminating at EQ, trains terminating at Leaderville. Don't understand. This this is crazy. So much chaos. Imagine this happening on a weekday though. That would be insane. The whole system would just collapse with the amount of trains and people. Luckily it's a weekend, but still not great. Okay, I don't really know what else to film right now. We've already gone on all the train place and bus routes. Unless there's a cool bus on it, like a cat. Other than that, we've seen the operations at Leaderville and Elizabeth Key. We've seen empty Perth and empty City West. Now, I don't have much more to show you. Just yet another chaotic disruption day for Trans Perth. Really not going well with the amount of disruptions recently, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Hope they'll be some proper 906s coming in soon. Otherwise people going to Fremantle should really just take 995 and circle the route from here, honestly. Or 910 like they have been. Here we are at Perth bus board. People are packing onto the 910 because there's still no 906s going all the way to Fremantle. It's already full as a rigid bus. Here the boards. It says emergency Joondalup replacement shuttle from stand 8. Still Joondalup instead of Yanchip. What the hell? And they removed like the Armadillo line train place and bus information which have always been up there. But here then it just says Midland Highway Combined Replacement Services. As it usually would. Hello. <laughs> uh, don't know if there's any more 904s coming in anytime soon. Okay, we actually got the Desto now. 904 Leaderville Station, train replacement express, 3100 right there. And after three hours of closure, 906 is finally up and running. People at the intermediate Fremantle Line stations with no information could have just been waiting infinitely right now. There's no services at all, especially since the train and bus stands are so far away from the stations at some points. You might not even see a bus is coming. Yeah, I saw on Discord. Wow, that's an interesting board to see at Perth Central Station. Mandra, 97 minutes. Or did they just randomly decide the problem's gonna be fixed in an hour and a half?